Hey, thought you might be here. Morning, sunshine. How'd you sleep? Ugh, like a log. Didn't even dream. That was a letdown. Kinda hoped I'd dream up some bombshell in a bikini to reward me for my hard work. You realize Kai's gonna hit you again if you keep that up. Eh, I'm getting used to it. Next time I'll cut out the middleman and just ask her to smack me. Hard to believe it was storming so bad just yesterday. We'll have clear skies for a while. The mud will dry out, and it'll be great weather for marching. Oh boy, here we go again. Huh? What's wrong? I spent so long just staring at the sky like this. For years, Raz. Like I was an empty husk. Remember where this picture was taken? Of course I remember. Miller Company, Ragnite Power and Energy, biggest factory in Hafen. Right. Riley's dad was doing research there. Riley and I used to play out back all the time. The weather was just like today's. Not a cloud in the sky. We were playing outside like normal when it happened. factory to see what was wrong. Let's go. We're done here. We ran into a group of Imperial soldiers at the entrance. You. I know you. You've been bothering my dad. What did you do to them? Ah, little Riley, is that you? My, how big you've grown. Don't worry. Al's research. Your father's research is safe in my hands. <laughs> Dr. Belgar, we must hurry. Hmm. <laughs> no! Riley, it's burning. The factory's on fire. We have to get out of here. <laughs> Dad and Mom! They're still inside! Daddy. It's my sister! I heard the factory got burned down by the Empire, but I didn't know you were there, too. I stopped Riley from rushing in, but I wasn't being noble. I was just scared out of my mind, and I was ashamed. I hated myself for being so... powerless, useless. After that, Riley stopped talking to me. I tried to go through the motions of my life like nothing happened. But in my head, I kept getting pulled back to that day. Stuck in place, paralyzed. Soon I found myself just... standing still. Looking up, staring blankly at the clouds, the sun, the rain. After years of doing that to cope, one day I, I realized I could notice subtle changes in the atmosphere. And that's where the wind talk came from, huh? I always figured you learned it in the academy. Watching you and the other kids playing around, not worried about the future? It honestly made me mad. Dumb guy like me thinking about my future? Please. I'm a darkson anyway. Not much to look forward to. And then one day you were teasing me over something so... inconsequential. I just suddenly stopped caring. 
I launched myself at you, and you beat me down. I tasted blood. I heard my own bones crack. But still, I knew it was nothing compared to what Riley went through. That's when I decided I wanted to become stronger, so I'd never be frozen by fear again. Wait, so that's how you ended up going to the academy? Yeah. Filled out my application while I was in the hospital. So, you got this far thanks to me? <laughs> Shit, and here I was gonna apologize to you! <laughs> like I said, you killed the old me. When I came back, I promised myself I would change. <sighs> I wish Kai had heard all that. Maybe then she wouldn't think I'm such a bad guy. I'm glad we could talk like this. Yeah, feels like a load off my shoulders right before the final battle. Don't go dying on me out there. I'm more worried about you. You almost got yourself killed. <laughs> I can handle it. I'm invincible, remember? I can't die until I take every last imp to hell with me. Hey, listen to me. I'm being serious here. Yeah, I know. Take care of yourself out there. You too. <laughs> what, too cliche? Too punk for a schoolboy like you? Uh, no. Honestly, I, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Careful, Claude. You don't want to catch us stupid. What the... Kai, Riley, uh, when'd you get here? Just now. Why are you so twitchy? Talking about something you didn't want us hearing? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Just guy stuff. Right, Claude? Yeah. You boys are so weird. You can act all mysterious, but I bet you were just talking about butts. <sighs> You're the worst. We're this close to our showdown with the Empire, and you're chasing TNA? Just beautiful. At last, it is time for the games to begin. Hmm. Class, huh? how long are we gonna have to wait? Yeah, it's boring. Maybe we'll just head home. My apologies. A gentleman shouldn't keep his ladies waiting. Now then, let's have a little fun. Chapter 4, The Battle of Zigfall.